remember what a sentence is? It is a group of words that makes complete sense by itself and does not depend on another word or group of words to do so. It has a subject and a predicate and we know that the predicate always contains the verb. You have already learned that there are various kinds of sentences based on structure. You have learned about the simple sentence, the compound sentence, and today we shall learn about a new kind of sentence. I threw the frisbee. Now this sentence has one independent clause. I threw the frisbee. This makes complete sense and can stand alone as a complete sentence. Now this independent clause has one subject, I, and one finite verb, threw. So this sentence is a simple sentence. I threw the frisbee and it hit Dave. Now this sentence is made up of two independent clauses. I threw the frisbee, it hit Dave and these two independent clauses have one subject I, it in each and each independent clause has a finite verb through and hit. Now both these independent clauses are joined by a coordinating conjunction and. So this sentence is a compound sentence. But what if we have a sentence like this? Dave cried because my frisbee hurt him. So let us look at this sentence by dividing it into parts. Dave cried because my frisbee hurt him. So the first part, Dave cried, is a group of words which has a subject, Dave, and a finite verb, cried. So this group of words is a clause, and this clause makes complete sense and can stand on its own. Dave cried makes complete sense. So this clause is an independent or a main clause. Now let us look at the other half of the sentence. Because my frisbee hurt him is also a group of words which has a subject, my frisbee, and a finite verb, hurt. So this is also a clause. Now this clause has a conjunction, a subordinating conjunction because and this clause does not make complete sense and cannot stand on its own. If we just say because my frisbee hurt him, does it make any sense? It makes some sense but not complete sense. So this part because my frisbee hurt him is a subordinate clause. So this clause does not stand on its own. So this is a subordinate clause and we know that subordinate clauses have a subordinating conjunction in them. So this sentence Dave cried because my frisbee hurt him is made up of an independent clause, Dave cried, and a subordinate clause, because my frisbee hurt him, which has a subordinating conjunction because. Now these kinds of sentences, which have a main clause and one or more subordinate clauses, are known as complex sentences. So what is a complex sentence? A sentence like, Dave cried because my frisbee hurt him is a complex sentence because it has one independent clause and one or more subordinate clauses. Now these subordinate clauses are joined 
by subordinating conjunctions. We also see that there are two or more finite verbs in complex sentences. When John reads, he usually falls asleep. What do we see here? Now this sentence has one main clause. He usually falls asleep. It can stand alone and make complete sense on its own. But this part, when John reads, does not make complete sense. It cannot stand alone. So this is a subordinate clause. And so we have one independent clause joined with a subordinate clause with the help of a subordinating conjunction when. So this sentence is a complex sentence. We also see that when the dependent clause is placed before the independent clause, as in this case, when John reads is not an independent clause, but a subordinate clause, which we have written at first. In such a case, the two clauses are divided by a comma. You will notice that we have put a comma here. He left in a hurry after receiving a phone call from the hospital. Now in this sentence also, he left in a hurry is the main clause or the independent clause which is being joined by the subordinate clause after receiving a phone call from the hospital. And the subordinate clause starts with a subordinating conjunction after. So this sentence is also a complex sentence. I fell asleep because I was tired after the hard work. Here also, I fell asleep is the independent clause. Because I was tired after the hard work is a dependent or a subordinate clause and it starts with the subordinating conjunction because. So this sentence is also a complex sentence. Now you will note that this complex sentence has two finite verbs, fell and was. Remember that we have more than one finite verb in a complex sentence. Since it is raining daily, I went to buy a raincoat because I don't like getting wet. What do we find in this long sentence? We see that there is one independent clause, I went to buy a raincoat and there are two dependent or subordinate clauses. Since it is raining daily is the first subordinate clause. And because I don't like getting wet is the other subordinate clause. So what do we have here? We have a complex sentence where there is one independent or main clause and two subordinate clauses which have been joined with two subordinating conjunctions since and because. Also, let us find out how many finite verbs this sentence has. Is raining a first finite verb? Went a second finite verb? To buy is not a finite verb? And don't like is our third finite verb. So we have three finite verbs in this sentence. Now let us try to do this exercise. Match the type of the sentences given below. We have three sentences given to us here and we have three types of sentences given. Complex, simple and compound. Let us read the sentences one by one. I baked a cake on my mother's birthday. I had to bake another cake after I burned the first one. I burnt the first cake but did not burn the second one. 
Let us take each sentence and try to identify its type. I baked the cake on my mother's birthday. This has one subject, I, one finite verb, baked, and it is made of one independent clause, I baked the cake on my mother's birthday. So this sentence is a simple sentence. I had to bake another cake after I burnt the first one. Now this sentence has two clauses. I had to bake another cake after I burnt the first one. Now the first clause, I had to bake another cake, is an independent clause because it can stand on its own and makes complete sense. But the second clause, after I burnt the first one, is a subordinate clause because it cannot stand on its own. Also, it has a subordinating conjunction after. Moreover, we see that there are two subjects and two finite verbs, had and burnt, to bake is not a finite verb, it is the infinitive form. So this sentence is a complex sentence. Now the third sentence, I burned the first cake but did not burn the second one. Now this sentence is made up of two clauses. I burned the first cake. I did not burn the second one. Here, I is implied. It is not mentioned because the same subject is doing the verb. So, we have two independent clauses here. I burned the first cake. I did not burn the second one. And both these clauses are joined with the coordinating conjunction but now, this sentence has two subjects, I, and two finite verbs, burnt, did not burn. So, this sentence is a compound sentence. We have already learned about the simple sentence and the compound sentence. Today, we have learnt about the complex sentence. So, what is a complex sentence? It is a sentence in which there is one independent clause and one or more subordinate clauses. Now, these clauses are joined by subordinating conjunctions. And a complex sentence has two or more finite verbs. Now, there might be some confusion between the compound sentences and the complex sentences. All you have to do is practice and in no time you will be perfect. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5,000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.